Um, so I'm guessing multiply, yeah. The usual, we all know this, multiply and stuff. Um, I use airbrushes. And let's just do, use a normal medium brush. Okay. So, um, when you're drawing sleeves, right, the instinct is to connect these curves. I will assume that, like, you, we put curves on the thing, but, um, most of what people do is they put draw the folds as well in the line art um i don't like doing that because yeah i'm not confident when it comes to drawing folds in line art um i only do them when i'm not shading anything like the ones on my sleeve right now and my avatar but sometimes but most of the time i don't try to put any um folds in the line art just so like i can play it around with it um I don't play I don't put complicated folds in the lighter so I so I have more like room to play around with the coloring with the shading because that's something um, I like to experiment with um, so right now I have two sleeves right here um, what I used to do before is I would use to connect the curves with like a, a shade right you would do this and then you would go down like this and then do that right this is the this is what i would usually instinctively do and it's also something i still do because it's not wrong it's not necessarily wrong but like if i always consistently do this like this kind of thingy the folds somewhat like tend the sleeve itself tends to look kind of flat or for me, it feels um, like um, if you're looking at it from a 3D perspective, it looks like it's just like this. Oops, hold on. Let me draw that better. Like the sleeve just looks like this if you're looking at it from a... And I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look circular, right? I want it to look like this. Where it's a round object, it's a cylindrical object more than a flat surface. And sometimes, um, when you're when you experiment with folds like I do, uh, this is what you you usually do, right? And sometimes um, too many folds, too many shades in this kind of direction and stuff would turn out looking like that. But I want it to look like this. This is my end goal. So instead of following the curves, like following like one line doing this to connect to a curve like that instead um, think of the arm think of the sleeve as cylindrical object and so that means we're not necessarily like connecting this imme oops we're not necessarily connecting these two together we're adding like hindrances like more curves in between them so okay this is now this is what I would do this is what I've been doing recently and it's like adding hidden hidden curves in the middle of your thing <laughs> i don't know how else to explain it but that's that's the most i can do so okay so if we have this and then i have these i would start okay oops why did i i would start off here why is that there you go fuck me so I would start up here and then I would go down like this and then I would make a fold here so it's it's like you're adding like stuff in the middle you're adding maybe like a something going down not not necessarily like all the time it's slanting but upwards or like but downwards there's a curve in the middle all the time or like you can play around with what's in the middle of these things like you can add more shapes and shit like that but in a sense you're always like thinking that it's a it's a it's a, it's it's round so it's not always going upwards like that it's going like this and so you can add more folds like that oh and i also like um what i like to do is like if i want to add a harsh outline here so you're making your own 
um, when you add a harsh outline, you're also making your own curves, and then that's what the that's what your shade follows, like that. So now it looks rounder, right? Now that I've added like uh, different curves. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. Oh, that cute Izzy react so adorable. Ugh. I know this is a bad example of how, you know, you're supposed to shoot. I'm just doing a really quick shading. Yes, yes. I'm glad it makes sense. Okay, and then uh, make the corners, the pinches, like inconsistent. Like I like to pinch it like right where it meets another end, and then like it goes thicker outwards. Like that. This is a very emphasized looking sleeve. I mean, I do this all the time too. There, there you go. So now the sleeve looks way more like, now it like actually looks like there's an arm in it, like it's filled with something because there's a curve. So next time, like, so I guess like when you, when you think of shading something, always like imagine it 3D or like imagine it like having something get filled up or imagine like curves way right here. Here, this may be this might be simpler if you like if I give a guide. Um, because right now, this uh, we always think of it from one end to another, so we're always thinking this to this, right? We always think of it's like kind of flat, or how I used to think of it. I always think of it flat, but nowadays I try to think of my uh, objects like or the sleeves like round like this so that's how that's how the uh, sleeve should go how the how the shading should go it could be flat like that it could be upwards like this I guess these are like basic things that I should have known from the start but like then again um, doing art was <laughs> mostly an experimental thing i just learn as i go but these are just um you know life hack like art hacks um as someone who doesn't know <laughs> as someone who like likes to you know bullshit the folds at least when you're do when you're bullshitting it looks like you know what you're doing <laughs> i hope that i hope that um that was I hope this helped in any way and um, it also applies to other things but this is the, um, the easiest way I could explain it so um, next time when you're exp like when you're just be bullshitting folds um, don't always try it unless if the fra the fabric of the <laughs> Thank you for the TED talk. <laughs> Unless the fabric like is yes, it, it it's like one end to the other, and that's how the fold should go. Then do that. Do do this if it's a flat surface. But if it's like this, then do it that way. But also, it always depends on the fabric as well. If it's thick, if it's thin, which is something you know. I also don't do. <laughs> but yes, thank you for coming to my TED talk. That was that was pretty much it. Yeah, that's something I have learned. Okay, let us head back <laughs> into coloring this. So yeah, um, this one is here. The reason why, um, for this sleeve, like. I followed it it goes up right like that right um, but then I added but then I added this shade oops oh my god life 
I added this part here. So, like, harsh shading. The tutorial chunk. <laughs> yes, I should. Maybe I should. I will. I will. Yeah. I put a harsh lighting here so that it looks like... So it has an edge here. Right? And that edge feels like, you know... Since it has harsh lighting, that means that... Oh, that's because it's not a flat surface. Why is that? Why is it causing a harsh lighting? It's because, you know... It's curved, in a sense. And then now you can... Then here, like, this will be your third line, and then that's when you do that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's the end of my TED talk. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Anyway, going back to actually doing this. 